Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. Today's video serves as a step-by-step -step guide through downloading content from the DJI Mini 4 Pro to either a PC or Mac, as well as downloading content to an electronic device using the quick transfer feature. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Unknown to some, there are various ways to access the content on the Mini 4 Pro. One method is the Direct Connect method, which can be done by directly connecting the Mini 4 Pro to a PC or Mac using the included USB-C cable. The second method is using an SD card reader. If you don't have an SD card reader and you'd like to do the Direct Connect method, plug the Mini 4 Pro USB to USB-C cable into an empty USB slot on your computer or hub. Next, while the Mini 4 Pro is off, Plug the USB-C in into the Mini 4 Pro. Your computer should automatically recognize the Mini 4 Pro storage. Now here's something to note. Unlike previous DJI drones, there's no need to power on the Mini 4 Pro as when it connects to your computer via USB-C, the internal storage and SD card are automatically accessible. This is also the case with the DJI Air 3. Now we'll walk through the steps needed when using the Mini 4 Pro's SD card. Now the first three steps will pertain to the SD card reader. Afterwards, all the steps can be used for both the direct connect or SD card reader method. Now eject the SD card from the Mini 4 Pro. Insert the micro SD card into the corresponding SD card slot on the reader. Insert the SD card reader into your computer. Now for step four, after either the Mini 4 Pro has been directly connected to the USB port or the SD card has been inserted, Windows or File Explorer may automatically launch. If it doesn't happen, open your Windows or File Explorer by right clicking on the Windows icon on the bottom of your PC and choosing File Explorer. For Macs, a shortcut of the SD card will be generated on the desktop. Now, if you're using a Mac, double-click the SD card shortcut on the desktop and a Mac Finder window will open. This will show you the contents of the card. If using a PC, after opening your File Explorer, you should see your Mini 4 Pro's SD card. Selecting the DCIM folder will bring you to the directory where your media is ultimately stored. Mine is the DJI underscore 001 directory. Yours might be something different. To copy all the files into the directory of your choice on either your PC or Mac, you can right click the DJI underscore 001 directory and choose copy. Alternatively, you can click and choose what files you'd like to copy and then move to the next step. To paste the files or directory into your folder of choice, navigate through the Explorer or Finder window, locate the directory you'd like to copy to, open the directory, and then right click and paste into the said location. Now we'll move on to the Quick Transfer feature. The Quick Transfer feature allows you to wirelessly export content from your Mini 4 Pro's SD card to an Android or Apple device all without having to power on the remote controller. This is ideal for those who would like to quickly edit their photos or videos and immediately share them with family, friends, or on social media. The items needed for the quick transfer feature are, of course, your Mini 4 Pro, and the remote controller is not required, your smart device or phone, and DJI Fly loaded on the smart device. Here's something to note. If using a DJI RC2, currently you cannot use the quick transfer feature to export photos and videos to the remote controller. Now to use the quick transfer feature, remove the gimbal guard from the Mini 4 Pro and then power on the Mini 4 Pro. Open the DJI Fly app on your device and there'll be a message stating switch to quick transfer mode. Select switch. For those who have never done a quick transfer, you'll be asked to press and hold the power button for two seconds on the Mini 4 Pro to connect DJI Fly to the Mini 4 Pro. So you'd go ahead and press and hold the power button for two seconds. 
Now, after pressing and holding the power button for two seconds, you'll be asked to join the DJI Mini 4 Pro network. Press join. Next, press view album to see the content on the DJI Mini 4 Pro SD card. You can then choose to view photos, videos, or all content. Press the check mark in the upper right hand corner to enter batch select mode, where you can either individually select files to download or batch select multiple files. Select the files needed, then press the download button on the bottom right hand corner. You'll see a progress bar and indicator letting you know the files are downloading. You can then access these files from your phone or tablet and use the video or photo editor or photo gallery of your choice. That's all for this video. If you have specific questions pertaining to this or other videos, we'd love for you to join us at dronepilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to droneblog.com.